Would you like me to cite examples? Yes. Actually, Ms. Tess, uh, the number five, which is HIV, pregnancy, and abortion. During the past couple of years, nag na number five ho ba yun? Nagiging top five hindi. ba yung ranking nun? No, hindi. Oo. Tayo na? Opa. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. No, during the early years of Dial of Friend, uh, questions related to pregnancy, abortion, STI, HIV, AIDS are at the top of the list. Uh, during during the early years, very few would uh, call us specifically for these particular concerns. Pero we noticed na in the recent past, uh, the callers would readily admit that they have uh, problems with pregnancy. Uh, so, hindi na suspected pregnancy, kundi confirmed pregnancy. And sometimes they ask, where can they go for help? Kasi it's uh, like they are uh, living away from the family. Where can they go now that they are pregnant? Mm-hmm. So, parang mga homes for unwed, mothers, mm-hmm. they would ask if we can refer. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the recent past, uh, many are very concerned about STI and HIV AIDS. Um, they think na they might be at risk, so they would call us, uh, where can they go for testing? Um, so, th- this is an indication na um, in terms of sexual activity, talagang sex is um, not only uh, the exclusive privilege of the married, but it's really being practiced no, by the unmarried. Uh, what do you attribute this this uh, why are we more prolific now <laughs> but what do you, what can we attribute this to kaya this this uh, increase in sexual activity or are we just being more open about talking about it i think it's more of being open in talking about it because okay. um, sex is um, something that cannot be legislated <laughs> you can only guide uh, young people about the dangers of uh, untimely sex or unplanned sex because they may not be ready for the consequences. Uh, so in our counseling, we always tell them that uh, if you find yourself in an intimate relationship, uh, ask yourself, are you ready for the consequences of an intimate relationship? Kasi ngayon, hindi lang pregnancy ang pwedeng outcome ng intimate relationship. Pwedeng may sexually transmitted infection, HIV AIDS and also uh, disrupted schooling or uh, sometimes they also get into extramarital affairs so they can also have some emotional burdens very at very young age huh? at very young age oh. affairs na. yeah oh yung iba they admit na they are involved with a married person ah okay. mm-hmm. okay. Right. Um, but uh, because we're reminding them about STIs, mm-hmm. uh, whereas before, hindi masyado, um, is there an increase in multiple partners, multiple concurrent partners? Um, well, based on the, the people that we talk to in our counseling hotline, uh, I can say that casual sex is uh, getting to be, what, practice? widely or no, I don't think wildly naman pero uh, casual sex is a reality uh, multiple sex partner is also a reality among young people nowadays mm-hmm. um, this is also because of the para freedom that a young person gets to enjoy uh, at this time uh, lalong lalo na dun sa easy communication it's so easy to establish new relationship to get uh, new friends, to establish new acquaintances. And sabi nga natin, uh, they are now living in the stroke of thumb generation. Uh, with a single stroke of the thumb, they can connect with uh, people who may not be uh, within their circle. no. Uh, but because of the advent of technology, it's so easy to meet new acquaintances. And um, may advantage yung technology, meron ding disadvantage. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the technology uh, allows people to be more expressive about how they feel. Kasi hindi, na, hindi nakakahiyang i-text how you feel. Kasi 
uh, hindi naman kayo magkikita. And sometimes, I was interviewed once, sabi ko parang it's also a way to parang liberate, no? Uh, uh, some Filipinos about sexual sexual biases that we hold or some of the misconceptions that we have. 